Welcome to Wines Du Jour. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we are most every week, but we're specifically at a, a location that has a state museum, and it's called Springs Preserves. It's 180 acres, all dedicated to wildlife and vegetation that grows in the desert. And boy, I'll tell you, it's wonderful. In addition to that, the Culinary Academy here in Las Vegas has the restaurant here. We call it the Spring Cafe. So we're going to have some nice uh, information about Spring Preserve, have some great food here at the cafe, and our wine this week we're featuring is J. Lore, one of my favorite. We're going to have a Sauvignon Blanc tonight that they only made 1,000 cases of, so unfortunately you're not going to be able to get it anywhere for a while, but they are going to do it again next year and make a lot more. So stay tuned, we're going to have a great time here at Springs Preserve at the Springs Cafe. Thanks for joining us on Wines Du Jour. We're broadcasting tonight live from the Springs Preserve Cafe, Las Vegas, Nevada. And I want to thank you for listening to America's number one syndicated radio high definition television wine show, where we bring great information and information about good wines and good foods, just so you can discover. And we uh, can't wait to taste some of Chef Patterson's food. Uh, coming from the Culinary Academy of Las Vegas. And then, of course, we're featuring one of my favorite wineries, J. Lore Wines. And we have three wonderful wines tonight, one of which is pretty unique, and we'll talk about that, and specifically the lady that's in charge of J. Lore Wines in this part of the world, Jody Hellman, is also my guest. So Jack Giro and Jody Hellman are both here, and we're going to talk a little bit about it, because one of the things that we do on Wines Du Jour is remember that Wine is food. A meal is a meal, but with a glass of wine, it's a celebration from casual gatherings to formal affairs. Wine celebrates any event. So don't go anywhere. Stay and enjoy the next 60 minutes while we discover more information about tastes and flavors from food and wine. So I'm sure you know everybody enjoys a glass or two of wine, and I promise here on Wines Is Your, the information we offer is in normal terms because we do not allow snobbery or intimidation in the room during the show. Wines Is Your radio and television is distributed in all 50 states, all around the world via radio, CRN, digital talk radio network, high definition V Asian TV, satellite audio, AHA radio, global American broadcast network, and on six internet systems all around the globe. And it's available on podcast, free on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Striker Radio, and uh, all live on radio right now as we speak. You're listening to Wines Du Jour and I'm your host Les Kincaid. So don't touch that radio dial or that TV remote. We'll be back with fun, information, and great taste right here on Wines Du Jour at Springs Preserve Cafe in Las Vegas, Nevada. But first, I want to talk about this time of the year. Barbecue. Barbecue is this time of the year. I don't care what part of the country you're in, it's getting warm enough. And here in the Nevada area, California, or the western part of the United States in particular, there's people who already have their grills out or their barbecues fired up. But one of the things that you may not know about is a company called A-Fire. That's all one word, A-Fire. And I have with me on the phone the lady that works at A-Fire, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the products and some of the unique things that they have, is Marlena Chang. Marlena, are you with us? I am. Hello, hello. Very good. Thank you very much for taking time out to do that and for uh, sending a little sample that we've given everybody here. Tell us a little bit about A-Fire and what you do, Marlena. 
Ray, first of all, thank you so much for having me on the show. It's a, a pleasure. You bet. Um, <laughs> so basically, Afire is a company that designed a gourmet barbecue or grilling product for natural born grillers. So it's kind of like a term that we use. Uh, basically, we do all natural um, grilling products from, from grilling planks to all natural rubs. Um, to what should anything that can add more flavor to grilling and barbecue, that's what we do. All right. Well, listen, we have to take a break. I know it's a little bit quick, but yeah. if you'll just hang on for a second, we'll be back in a couple minutes. So Marlena's here. She's going to wait for a moment. We'll be back coast to coast and around the world on the Internet right here on Wines Azure at Springs Cafe at the Springs Preserve in Las Vegas, Nevada. Be right back after these messages. to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Uh, you know what? These wines are just absolutely outstanding, and I want to talk to you about those in a little while. But first, I want to continue my conversation with Marlena Chang with AFIRE. Give us uh, the hot scoop, if you will, on your barbecue information. Before the break, we talked about coconut charcoal. Basically, it's all 100% natural charcoal made from coconut shell. Fascinating uh, uh, product that we developed about uh, seven years ago. So when the whole eco, you know, the eco trend is out there, we stumble upon um, this charcoal that's made from coconut shells. Basically, it's just an efficient fuel, okay, that keeps your grill hotter, longer, and um, your food tastier. That's what it does. So, it, for example, people love to do um, slow smoking in their big green egg or in their Weber. Uh, instead of using half a bag, you use only 12 pieces of these charcoal. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Not only does it save money, but uh, the atmosphere as well, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So uh, it makes uh, charcoal that burns a long time, two times, two times hotter, two times longer than any briquettes, chemical briquettes on the market. And of course, uh, lump charcoal burns really fast. So basically, it outlasts lump charcoal and it's 100% natural. So that's uh, the cocoa charcoal line. Uh, tell me about AFIRE and how your uh, website is so we can go there and see some of your products and maybe order some. Sure. Um, our website is afireinc.com, which is uh, A-F-I-R-E-I-N-C.com. Uh, and our products are available there. Uh, we have our planes, our cocoa charcoal, our wood chips, uh, many, many species of wood chips, and uh, our, our rubs available. Well, that's great. AFIRINC.com. A-F-I-R-E-I-N-C, all one word, dot com. Marlena Chang, I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your schedule to give us a call and explain uh, your products, introduce it to uh, the world, if you will. So thank you very much again. Hope to have you on in the future, okay? Wonderful. Thank you. All right, Marlena. Bye-bye. I want to talk to... That was good, huh? Uh, I want to talk uh, about wine a little more specifically, and the way to do that would be to get an expert. And in order to have an expert, I just called a friend of mine. Uh, he, is the, he is the sommelier extraordinaire. His name is Jack Giroux. Uh Jack is one of the most knowledgeable people about wine. He's been all around the world. Um, he's taken classes. He's given classes. In fact, he teaches classes uh, to people about wine that are in the profession. So first of all, Jack, thank you for taking time out of your schedule. I know you had, he was supposed to work this evening as a sommelier, and he's here instead. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in the wine industry today. Um, well, the wine industry, I mean, there's kind of uh, a lot of the changes. I mean, the big changes have kind of happened from the standpoint. A lot of technologies come in. A lot, things are a lot uh, cleaner now. Um, uh, the, the vintages have been interesting because, like, for instance, in California, the past couple of vintages have been little cooler vintages short vintages as opposed to the big big ripe vintages so the nature of the wines are going to be a little bit different right um, basically the European wines uh, they're going to where we always everything else is going they're going to China 
Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, it's amazing, isn't it? You know, China, uh, and I'm not going to elaborate on this, so uh, I'm just going to tell you, China is a very large country. Everybody knows that. It's got more people there than any other country in the world by a long shot. It also has a lot of people that don't have any money, if you know what I'm saying. The poverty is uh, very uh, prevalent there. But the people that do have money uh, have good taste, and they're looking for and discovering wines from around the world. And that's pretty much the way it's working now. There's a lot of companies that are going over there and trying to make arrangements to uh, import uh, wines to China and, and get the word out and so on and so forth. It's a pretty complicated business. But, you know, but you know, Chateau Lafitte has bought land in China to grow wine made by Chateau Lafitte in China. Is that amazing? Chateau Lafitte in China. I mean, that, who would have thunk? You know, I mean, it's just a, it's an incredible. It truly is. So, Jody, thank you very much for sharing your wines with us this evening and coming over here. And I wanted to ask you about China. Um, well, as you know, it's always a pleasure to come and see you. Thank you. And China is definitely one of those areas that a lot of people are interested uh, in. As a matter of fact, uh, my compadre, as you know, Sean sure. um, Zelani. Had Don't just, tell me she's in China. She just came back from Asia, actually. No with, kidding. For the winery. She was in um, Hong Kong and also in Tokyo and uh, in Taipei. So uh, we're definitely spreading our wings in That's great. Uh, well, Asia Sean has well. been on, the, on Wines Azure sure in the past, so we know her, you know, personally. Uh, she's not just, but she's the one that's representing Jay Lore uh, in China and Asia in general. And, and just for a, a little side note here, for those of you that don't know, this show that you're watching or listening to right now uh, is on three times a day for seven days in a row from China to India all over Asia. We don't miss any area. That's the Philippines, that's Malaysia, that's Korea, that's Japan, that's all the countries you can think of. This show shows three times a, a day, three times a day for seven days in a row and then it rolls over to the next show. So we are covering Asia in a lot of ways and, and I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you that I get emails now for some people, <laughs> I'm sorry but I can't read uh, what the emails are trying to ask. You know, I can read Las Vegas or my name and a few other things, but not, a, not always enough to really respond, so I'm not sure how to do that. So if you've got any ideas on how to make that happen, I'd really appreciate it, because I don't want to make them think like I'm ignoring them. It's just a, I don't know what they're saying. That's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but that would be the translator button on Google? The translation <laughs> button, on, yeah, that, that would work. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Well, you know, just for that, we've got to go to a break. <laughs> when we come back, Jody, I want to talk to you a little bit more uh, about your wines and specifically about the first wine that everybody here is tasting as we speak, along with a little food that the chef has put together. We'll talk about that when we come back. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back coast to coast and around the world on the Internet right here with Wines Du Jour and <laughs> Springs Cafe. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after these messages. TV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month, so get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines Azure. I have to tell you, this Sauvignon Blanc, this is 2012 Sauvignon Blanc from the Arroyo Seco in Monterey, uh, California. Uh, in the Monterey area, the breezes that are constant from that area keep the weather, even though it might be warm all over that general area, it keeps it a little bit cooler. Uh, and I have to tell you that some of the Sauvignon Blanc, the, the citrusy and unique tastes of this are just uh, incredible. But don't let me tell you, We'll have uh, uh, Jody home and tell us. Well, I'm really glad you enjoy it. So a little bit of melon as well. There's uh, some tropical fruits in there, a little bit of grapefruit. I love um, the acidity. Uh, and it's, um, there's some really nice acidity. Uh, it's from a cooler climate. Arroyo Seco, Monterey area is typically much cooler than what you would find in Napa Valley and Sonoma. So you'll get that little bit more of that um, acid on there from that cooler climate as well. Okay. 
Now the chef here today has taken some shaved fennel. Now I hope you know what fennel is. If you don't, go down to your produce store and ask them about anise or fennel. It's the very same product, different areas, call it a different things. But it has kind of a licorice taste to it. And he shaved this fennel along with some fresh herbs and a, a citrus vinaigrette. And I have to tell you, this is delicious and a great compliment uh, to the Sauvignon Blanc. Fred Peterson is, is the uh, chef here, and he's done, I think, a very good job with, with pairing the foods with, this, with us this evening. So, okay, let's go on now to wine number two. And we're talking about J. Lors Las Osas Merlot from Paso Robles, California. And it's a great area for growing red grapes, in particular Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. And I have to tell you, the Merlot from J. Lore that we're tasting now to go along with this dish that I'm going to tell you about in a minute uh, is really about perfect. Tell us a little bit about uh, your uh, J. Lore Los Osos Merlot. So the, the name Los Osos actually comes from a couple of different things in the area. Uh, Los Osos, uh, as many of you may know, actually means the bears mm -hmm. in Spanish. Uh, and there are a lot of bears in the vineyards. Uh, also, um, there is a town very close to that area in um, San Luis Obispo County called Los Osos. And the third thing is actually the soil type in that area. They actually, the name of the soil that uh, these grapes grow in is called Los Osos. So there's a couple of different reasons why we chose that name for this wine. Uh, Chef Fred Patterson is the gentleman in charge back there. And let me tell you what he's done. He's uh, roasted some red bell peppers. Everybody knows how to do that. You put them on the grill and just char the heck out of them and then put them in a bag or put them in a bowl and cover them up and let them sweat for a few minutes. Take them out and actually pull that charred part off. And you've got this red bell pepper that's ready to eat. That's really tasty. Then he's taken also a little bit of spinach. It's one of my favorite cheeses, goat cheese. And he's mixed all that together, taken the chicken breast, flattened it out, and rolled this uh, red bell pepper, spinach, and goat cheese mixture in that, and then roasted it. Then he sliced it, put it on a plate, and uh, of course, y most of the people here are saying, yeah, 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 this is uh, Yukon gold mashed potatoes. This is not regular old mashed potatoes. This is Yukon gold potatoes. Well, you're right, it definitely is along with a little bit of glazed carrot. Uh, and then more importantly, he made a beautiful herb butter sauce. And that's just what made this fantastic. And I think that's one of the main things that allowed all of this chicken and uh, the mashed potatoes uh, and with the bell pepper and the spinach and the goat cheese to go along with a red, bold, red wine Merlot from J. Lore. And I think it's a perfect pairing. What did you think, Jack? Did you like the pairing? Yes, I like the pairing. I was just noticing we were just talking about the, uh, the wine itself. Uh, it's pretty kind of classic Merlot, but what's interesting about it to me is it's full body, but it's soft. It's got a real soft note to it. Right. The plums there, a uh, little touch of, of uh, fig, it kind of sits in the back. You've got that blueberry note, and then a little bit of that slice, almost like uh, the crust from a, a plum cobbler that sits on the bottom. It, and it's, it's, it's nice. It's not big in your face kind of thing, but it's, it's, it's a good... good uh, Absolutely. Jay Lore. Hey, we've got to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, food number three that Chef Patterson has put together, along with a beautiful Seven Oaks Cabernet Sauvignon 2011 from Jay Lore Estates. This is an estate wine. We'll talk about what that means when we come back. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back coast to coast and around the world on the internet right after these messages. Switch to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Wines is yours is what you're listening to, and we're having a good time here at the Springs Cafe. I just want to mention that we have the privilege of having Patrick Simon, who is the corporate executive chef 
uh, for this beautiful Culinary Academy of Las Vegas has joined us this evening and uh, made sure, uh, of course, that uh, Chef Fred Patterson did a beautiful job and he did an excellent job with all the foods tonight. So thank you very much, I appreciate that. Listen, this third wine for Jay Lore is an estate wine. Uh, to put estate wine on the label uh, of a, of a uh, bottle of wine, you must either own the property that the grapes are grown on or have a very long-term contract with that person that does own the vineyard and grows the grapes, not just buy them for a couple years and, and then call it a state. And the reason is the government, I think, in their infinite wisdom, and God knows how smart they are, they want to go to, I know, it wasn't very funny, was it? Uh, what they want to make sure is that when you put a state bottle on it, that the winery is really in charge of those grapes from start to finish, from growing them, from pruning them, canopy management, from watering it, and from taking them out of the vineyard and bringing them to uh, the winery, in addition to making wine once the juice gets there or the grapes get there. So uh, if you see a state bottle, there may be a dollar more or something charged for that bottle of wine compared to their regular, if you will. But it means that they've really paid attention to it 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year, as opposed to just the last two or three months of the year, if you know what I'm saying. No. The chef has done something with this Cabernet, and I'm going to talk to Jody about the Cabernet here in a moment. But he has paired now with this a little chocolate decadent cake with Swiss chocolate pralines. <laughs> now, this is Cabernet Sauvignon, folks, and you have to know that many times uh, dark chocolate is part of the taste and flavor of, well, I, I mentioned it in, in the Merlot that we had, but it's also in this Cabernet Sauvignon. But in addition to that, uh, I have to say the black currants and all the black fruit and so on that, that Jack is going to probably tell us about here uh, in a moment or two uh, is definitely part of this Cabernet Sauvignon. For, and it's a 2011. That's the year that the grapes were grown. And that's the year that they put on the label in the bottle. But it's also, in my opinion, this is really a Bordeaux-style Cabernet as well. Yes, it's California, no doubt about it. But it's that type of thing. Jack, tell us a little bit about the, what you think this particular wine is. And I know you haven't had a chance to taste the, the food to pair with it, but you, you're not going to know it's not too bad. Uh, absolutely. See, I was just talking, so you can't put me next to somebody else who does wine. I'll talk to them about it. <laughs> that all kind of works out. But basically, the, uh, the situation is, we are just kind of mentioning, this is actually uh, not quite as full. This, the, the, the Merlot is, is, is much tighter, a lot of more richness in the center. The Cabernet goes ahead and kind of spreads out a little bit and has uh, a little more of that character. I'm getting uh, red and black fruits in that Cabernet, which is unusual because normally it's all black fruit. But I've got, you know, got the cassis, the blackberry, and the black currant. But there's also some red currant and some uh, uh, red raspberry and black raspberry in there. So it's got some very interesting uh, components to it. Uh, definitely has a little bit of that dusting of uh, some uh, bitter sweet chocolate on the very, very uh, bottom of the, uh, of the wine. So it's, it's, it's very nice, very pleasant. Listen, time flies when you're having a good time. I have to say, we've enjoyed this broadcast, and if you've enjoyed it, tell everybody you know. I want to know more about my favorite subjects, log on to my website, leskincade.com. Go to my Facebook or my Twitter and have some information on it. These people here are tasting this Cabernet along with this chocolate decadent cake, and they're going, whoa, this is good. I want to thank you for choosing Listen to Wines Du Jour from the left coast, from the east coast, and from all around the world on the radio and on television, I'm Les Kincaid. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching Wines Du Jour at the Springs Cafe in this beautiful little setup over here in Las Vegas, and I mean it's really nice, called Springs Preserve. Featuring J. Lor wines this evening, that Sauvignon Blanc was a killer, the Merlot was really good, and the Cabernet Sauvignon along with that chocolate wasn't too bad either. So I want to thank you very much for listening to Wines Du Jour. We're here at the same time every week, so we'll hope to see you down the line. The Asian TV. 
the community channel for Asian Americans in Las Vegas.